How's it going everyone? Ben here and today we're going to be changing the manual transmission fluid on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. Um, should be fun. This is the first time I've done a uh, manual transmission fluid change so uh, without further ado, let's dive into it. So let's go ahead and jack up the car. Um, as you can see, I've already done so with my Harbor Freight jack here, and I just put those on some three-ton jack stands as well. And you can see the notches that are in your Toyota owner's manual. So I jacked it up on this frame um, here, the subframe here, and it was just easier than jacking up each side by itself. And as always, go ahead and pull the e-brake and shift the car into gear. And as an extra safety step, let's go ahead and chalk the wheels off. And this is just to ensure that the car doesn't roll back when on the jack stands. And just go ahead and give the car a couple shakes just to make sure that everything's solid because um, we do not want this falling down on us. That's for sure. Looks like we're good to go. All right, so let's go over some of the tools that you're gonna need. So to start off, you're gonna need a 24 millimeter socket, uh, a socket extender, a breaker bar or just a wrench to break the plugs free. You're also gonna need a torque wrench to torque it to its final spec. You're gonna need some blue shop towels cause it's gonna get messy. Um, along with some brake clean so you can clean off the plugs after you remove them. And like I said, it's going to get messy, so be sure to wear those gloves. We don't want this on our hands. So the first plug that we're going to be removing is the fill plug. So you can see it uh, at the bottom right of the engine bay. It's a pretty clear shot. Um, I lit it up with a light to make it easier. So this is the first plug we're going to be removing. All right, so let's go ahead and move this bad boy. So I got my 24 millimeter socket here on the breaker bar. Um, my socket wrench kind of wasn't long enough to fit. Well, it was, but it was a little awkward to, uh, to work here. So the breaker bar works good. Um, and as you can see, I'm having some trouble uh, lining it up here. So go ahead and line it up. Make sure it seats all the way. Maybe. Almost there we go. And go ahead and turn it counterclockwise. Hey, there we go. It's broken free. Let's go ahead and move on to the drain plug. Before we do that, let's go ahead and lay down some cardboard because there's going to be some spills. Better on the cardboard than on your concrete floor or driveway. So to find the drain plug, it's actually kind of where we jacked up the car. Um, you can see the transmission bell housing. You can see the same type of plug right there. Make sure you have your catch pan ready to catch all of the old manual transmission fluid. All right, so it's time to drain. So make sure you have your catch pan right underneath this drain plug so it all goes into the catch pan and not on your floor. And once again, we're gonna take our 24 millimeter socket here and rotate this counterclockwise to break it free. Hopefully it shouldn't take too much for you. Mine were pretty easy and they came, you know, loose pretty pretty fast. So go ahead and loosen up this bolt and be aware that as soon as this gets to the end, it's gonna start pouring out oil. So just be ready to hold onto the plug. If it goes into the pan, that's all right. You'll just have to fish it out and clean it out later, but just make sure to hold onto it, so. All right, so it's draining here. And as you can see, I, I forgot to take out the fill plug up top. That's kind of why it's, blooping out instead of like a steady stream. So go ahead and loosen up that fill plug up top and it'll come out faster. It's making a funny sound. And there we go, fill plug is removed. So we're gonna let this drain all the way. Um, take a break, grab a beer hang out and soon it'll all be drained out and you'll be left with a slow drip I just took some blue shop towels here and I just kind of cleaned the surface off just to get ready for when we put the plug in making sure it's clean 
So with every part replacement, you always wanna make sure that you have the right parts. So go ahead and grab your old uh, crush washers and just make sure you got the right ones. Um, these are in the link in the description so you can find them and buy them for your own car. Uh, the drain plug actually fell out into the catch pan, so I just have the one. But as you can see, they are a perfect fit and they will work great. So before we go ahead and reinstall these, I'm just taking some of that brake clean and just kind of washing them off a bit, just getting all the sediment, all the goop, all the grime off of them. Um, doesn't take much. It's just uh, good practice. You don't want any dirt contaminants in case you drop it or anything. So just go ahead and clean them off. And I'm just cleaning them up with some blue shop towels as well. So it's time to reinstall the plug. Once again, just wiping off the area, making sure that surface is clean so that everything screws in, adheres right. We don't want any leaks here. So I'm putting in the plug with the new aluminum crush washer and just screwing it in, making sure nothing's cross-threaded, making sure it goes in smooth. And then we're gonna take our 24 millimeter socket here on our torque wrench and torque this down to 29 foot-pounds. I took this from a Haynes manual and I found this spec online as well. You can hear the click and we'll do it twice for good measure. And that's torqued down and the drain plug is done. Let's go ahead and wipe it down just to make sure any of the old transmission fluid is not still there. So now we're gonna get the car back on the ground because we want this to be level when we go ahead and fill up the transmission. So I'm just jacking it up and removing the jack stance. Moving all my crap and make sure you get the oil catch pan out of the way so the car doesn't crush it under the wheels. Almost did that. And go ahead and lower the car slowly. Nice. Let's go ahead and remove the jack and it's time to fill. So I'm gonna be putting some Redline MT90 um, in the transmission. And from what I've read online, this is kind of like the go-to um, for a lot of manual transmissions. So I thought, hey, let's try it out. If other people are using it, let's do it. To put the fluid in the transmission, we're gonna be using this flex funnel that I purchased on Amazon. Just to give you a quick demo, here's how this flex funnel is going to go into the fill hole. So you put it in there and then the top of it has the funnel on it, easy as that. And it's time to fill up the transmission. So go ahead, make sure your funnel is securely in the drain hole and kind of hold the other end of it so it's not going anywhere and slowly fill up the transmission. As you can see, I'm kind of doing it in little bursts not to overwork or overfill the funnel in case it does come out. I don't have transmission fluid going everywhere. And the nice thing about this funnel too is you can see it has a little filter um, right before the flex part um, so no contaminants can get through in case, you know, a hair goes into the funnel or something or, you know, just dust, things like that. So that's nice. And that's about it for bottle number one. Let's go ahead and get bottle number two. And that's it for bottle number two. And you can see there in the camera shot that some of the fluid is coming out. That's how you know it is up to that line. So let's go ahead and plug that with a shop towel just for the time being until we can get our fill plug. So let's go ahead and remove the shop towel and make sure you have your fill plug with the new aluminum crush washer. And you can see that it's coming out. It's level, it's good to go. So go ahead and thread it in there.
let's go ahead and torque it down. Like before, we got our 24 millimeter socket with the extender and a torque wrench. And this was kind of hard to shoot. There we go. It is torqued down. A little crooked, but torqued down. And after changing your fluid, um, always make sure to recycle the old oil um, or fluids. Uh, you can take these to AutoZone or any other auto parts store. And be sure to clean up any messes that you left on the floor. And that just about wraps it up. Uh, so I just got back from taking the crawl for a test drive and immediately I can tell that it shifts smoother, it seems to go into gear easier, and overall for about the 30-40 bucks that I spent on the red line, um, definitely worth the upgrade so far. Also after you get done taking it for a test drive, just make sure there's no leaks on any of the um, drain and fill plugs. Uh, make sure those seals are nice and tight and nothing's leaking through because we definitely do not want that. So. Um, thanks again for watching the video. Let me know if it helped you out um, or if you can give me any tips if you saw anything that I did that uh, could be improved. So um, yeah, just let me know. Thanks for watching.